Hey there, welcome to day 2296 of What You Up To Now. Sharon Hornels, I'm here. And I like to hop on every day and share what I'm working on. Yesterday was late because I was hanging out with my granddaughters so that their parents could take care of some commitments. And today, it's first thing in the morning, but I'm also running back and forth and helping out with the granddaughters. So I'm going to talk very, very quickly. Today for Super Size Your Business, we talked about the power of subscription boxes. And I got to thinking... I am an incredibly good customer of subscription boxes, which is probably why I like it as a strategy to help other business owners to apply to their businesses. There's all kinds of creative ways we can go about doing that. But basically, it's about getting ongoing recurring income on autopilot for your business. And I shared a couple of things that I do, and I, I just grabbed two things this morning. Coffee. My coffee is on auto ship. My vitamins are on auto ship. I could have grabbed that box. I had jewelry on auto ship for several years. I have literally at least a dozen, maybe two things that I auto ship to myself every single month. Uh, and sometimes more often, sometimes less often. Uh, I think uh, I've tried so many different products and services and there's usually an advantage to having them auto ship. Usually you get a discount of some sort, which maybe covers the tax nowadays or the shipping. Uh, but some, they, they just add the shipping and the tax right onto it anyway. So it depends on how you structure your business and what works for you. So talked about that today and how you can apply that to different types of businesses. Also for the let's grow annual challenge, we are talking about mental growth this month and running through the soap framework, the framework that I use for dealing with challenges, setbacks, problems. I, uh, I formalized it. I've, I've always had a process in my subconscious and in my mind that I use whenever something comes up for me. But I didn't formalize it until the pandemic when I realized that I and a whole lot of other people needed to get up and go and keep moving despite what was going on outside of our control and outside of us and around us. We had to still keep moving toward the things that were important to us in our lives. And so I formalized and called it the SOAP framework, which seemed really, really appropriate during the pandemic since we were washing our hands and sanitizing uh, so often. Uh, we still are. Some of us have had health challenge along the decades. And so we're, that's just part of our being. I was in the food industry for 35 plus years. So I always had, I, I don't know how, how many times a day I wash my hands, but literally 30 plus times a day I wash my hands. And now with granddaughters, same thing. So we're talking about the O in the soap framework today, and that it stands for options. Yesterday we talked about our current and desired story that creates a gap difference between where we are and where we want to be on that particular area. And I picked eliminating negative self-talk. Why? Because I've talked about it before, but it still pops up. I know. Rears its ugly head in my life, as well as most people's lives on some occasion. And I'm like, I want to keep plugging away at that. That's a continuous improvement area. And if I, the more I can eliminate that, the better other areas of my life feel and the better results I get in different other areas of my life as well. So we brainstormed, we're brainstorming 10 options today, 10 possible ways to start filling the gap between where we are and where we want to be with respect to our mental growth topic that we're individually focusing on because each of us have different things that we want to work on. I'm sharing the example of Jovi. I, I picked a name and uh, throughout the whole soap framework, every day I share her story as part of guide two of the Let's Run Annual Challenge private Facebook group, as well as a write-up on how to apply or different ways to brainstorm uh, that. And I also remind people that you can always go and search the Get Up and Go Challenge private Facebook group or the Let's Grow Annual Challenge private Facebook group. Both of those, the, the Get Up and Go Challenge has 2020, 2021, 2022, and 2023. Every day, the daily challenges in there, plus 2020 and 2021, every other month, I did a 30 plus day challenge on different topics. You could type any topic in the little left-hand column search area. So you could type soap framework and you will get dozens and dozens and dozens of examples of applying the soap framework. And you can type options and you get all the times that we've talked about options in both those groups. So lots of information and you can always ask me, right? Just send me a message. It's not hard. I don't get it. How do I come up with options? I, I think I can only do this or that. And so what do you mean I can come up with at least 10? All right. That's all I've got today. I hear my granddaughter. So I'm going to go help out with them and play. If I can help you in any way, ask. Otherwise, have a fantastic day. And I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow.